for Barack Obama to win the Democratic nomination and to go on to be President of the United States, is now faced with the simplest of tasks, which nobody seems to be getting. As the shift in the electorate's concern has gone from the war in Iraq to the pocketbook issues of jobs flushing down the toilet here in the United States, a housing market in free fall, gasoline on its way to four dollars a gallon, etc., etc. Nobody, including Barack Obama, is pointing out that this is as much a result of the mistake of the bad judgment of going into Iraq as the thousands of deaths the untold ripping apart of families, the creation of a new territory for Al-Qaeda to act in. Because these billions of dollars that were spent and are being spent weekly, and the trillion or more dollars that will be involved before this ends one way or the other, could have gone to creating alternative energies to shoring up the infrastructure and creating tens of thousands of jobs, to rebuilding our school systems, to providing for health care, be it Obama, Hillary's, or anybody else's plan. And until and unless he brings these two things together and quits zooming in on each individual issue, just as the press zooms in on each individual issue, I think he'll be in trouble. If he can make this simple observation that the result of his good judgment on that vote would have not only had others followed it, kept us out of the war, but would have definitely kept us out of the economic chaos, fear, joblessness, and despair that is sweeping through areas of this country. It's time for him to quit zooming in and zoom out of the whole. And it's time for him to make that relationship clear to the electorate. If he doesn't, maybe he doesn't deserve to be president. <laughs> maybe the monster does.